On April 10th, 2014, Dan Ornelas had a senior art exhibit at the art building on Washington University's campus. It was a display of all his art he's done in his four years because he will be graduating in May. We asked him more about his art. I got into art when I was a kid, pretty mostly drawings, you know, from things I saw, but I didn't get in seriously into art until probably mid to late high school. I think my later high school art, probably around my senior year, was my best work. It's, as I look back on it, there's probably only a few pieces that I really liked that I felt were professional enough to show. When I got to college, I, I tended to stray towards, more towards photorealism in my art. And one of the things I really had to strive for when it came to photorealism was uh, a stronger concept. And I think that's what I've been trying to work on more towards as I've gone through college. I had to put in quite a bit of work as well as like making the artwork itself. I had two paintings to complete this semester, as well as you should have moved this if you you could see it. Sorry. About seven hours of completion to put up the show. So it's quite a bit of work. I think my favorite pieces would be my three part key paintings, as well as the portrait paintings of the people that are closest to me. Worked on it. Well, my main key painting that's been featured in my uh, little card thing, um, that painting I think took me in excess of a hundred hours to complete, because there was just a lot of work to put into it and a lot of time, and I spent the majority of the semester completing it. What do you plan to do after you graduate? After I graduate, I, I, I'm thinking of doing commissions for artwork, paintings, portrait paintings. I even have my own business card so that I can advertise for that. Your band? Yes. I definitely consider making artwork for a band, t-shirts, album covers, CDs, you know, banners. There's a lot of potential for creating artwork for my band. Art show? My advice for future artists, um, going through the art program, creating a senior show, is to be prepared and make enough artwork in advance to your senior year so that you don't have to create a bunch of work during your senior year and do a lot of pre-planning. Really work on your concept. Well, I'm getting like all Friends and family were all there to congratulate Dan on all his hard work. And while there, I asked him what his favorite piece was and how long it took him to complete it. Take two. Hello, my name is Daniel Ornelas. I'm an art student here at Washburn University. I'm standing here next to what I would consider one of my more favorite paintings. Uh, it's part of my three-part key series. This is, as you can see, is a set of keys actually uh, of my girlfriend, Maddie. Um, and not only are they keys, but keys can tell a story because keys, you know, each part of the key is a part of someone's own life. And that's what I felt was my strongest concept with these two these key paintings. I, for this painting, I mean, along with all my other paintings, they're all oil paintings. Um, I spent at least 50 to 100 hours on each, each of these key paintings here. Um, I didn't really have a strong concept going into it, but the concept evolved once I started to paint. Here you go. So as far as my painting is concerned, uh, there was a lot of guessing on colors, uh, as well as what to paint. Um, and since it's as detailed, detailed as it is, it takes quite a bit of time to really map that all out. Um, I'm also, lettering is not my strong suit, so I think that was one of my big struggles when I was doing this painting, was getting all this lettering, all the fine lines in there with a paintbrush. Um, obviously, I like to use a lot of dark shading, chiaroscuro shading as it's called, uh, with my paintings. While well, at uh, Dan's art show, I asked some Washburn students what they thought of, that were friends of his, what they thought of his work, and all, and which one was their favorite piece. 
Yeah, absolutely. It's a fantastic atmosphere. Not only that, all of these pieces are visually appealing. This one here speaks to me a little bit because it has, this one's in contrast to all the other pieces on this wall. This bright floral color design has got a lot of texture, a lot of depth. I like it. But that's not my favorite. My favorite one's right over here. If you can take a look, this is amazing. I like that one. Right here, like a zombie American Gothic. That's great, it's got some chunks missing. I like it, it's just about the same, right amount of macabre that they will enjoy. Yeah, I think it's pretty nice. Dad is a very interesting guy. I've never seen any of his work, but I'm quite impressed by it. You know, I've heard stories that he takes his artwork very seriously, but as you can see, most of his pieces, I can tell he puts hundreds of hours into it. This one right here, I don't know how it took him to make this one, but I personally do like it. I think it has a certain character, like I feel like this would be the mask I would wear, you know, in a Day of a Dead event or a Halloween event, you name it, I probably wear it. Dan's art show went over really well. We have until April 18th to yeah. see his art on display, mm -hmm. and everybody seemed to enjoy it. Thank you. This has been Brian Spontus, Florida Washington Thanks for watching.